Yo, what up? This is Vic Missy watching Hot New Hip Hop. It's been dope. Yeah, it's been amazing. Something that was funny, there was this, there was this guy, um, American actor named Boris Kojo. Um, he's in like, like a lot of like those like black comedy family movies and these like they he often plays like the handsome light skinned guy. Um but I just thought it was funny when I met him, uh, he's super cool, but I thought it was funny because forever I always been saying uh to chance, I'd be like, Yo, Boris Kojo looking ass <laughs> And so when this nigga came to the show, I just thought that was funny. It doesn't get boring, but I I, I watch uh, I watch parts of it a lot of time. I, I got a studio on the bus, so I'm also on there recording. So it's like, you know, between kind of like decompressing after every show and, you know, recording on the bus or entertaining guests and watching whole show. It's like kind of a mixture of all of those. I wanted to make a debut studio album that would really be would really be uh, compelling and honest, uh, thorough depiction of me as a man, and tell you about how I came up, how the things that happened to me coming up influenced and. Uh, affected me and how they, how the formative events of my life shaped my tendencies and my characteristics and you know every everything everything is uh, is a cycle and things that happen to us in childhood, um, the things we do in childhood and our families and uh, surroundings um, they relive themselves through uh, our present um, and future cons continuously. And um, I wanted to really just show, you know, how, how I could be so many different things and that's just human, you know what I'm saying? Like how I could be like a, a lover and a fighter and um, an addict and, you know. The division of genres and things like that, uh, it's, it's, it's made up, you know. It's a lot of it, um, it's like just propaganda machines, you know what I'm saying? Like in America, I don't know how things work in Canada, but in America, every genre has a radio station so they force you to choose you know I like this and that means that I don't listen to that um, but then in Britain they have Radio 1 that plays Adele with Jay-Z with uh, Imagine Dragons or something you know whatever but um, and, uh, you know, I feel like that's how music should be. And I also think that um, it's been a huge misconception that, um, that, you know, rappers don't listen to other things. Rap, rap is created from sampling, you know, other things. Mob Deep sampling Herbie Hancock, you know what I'm saying? Um, Mike Dean played me a beat he made in the 80s, sampling like a racist country song. You know what I'm saying? Like, rap has always uh, been an amalgamation of uh, different textures and backgrounds, and as it should be. I, I, I don't love uh, labels and categorization, you know? I would, I would choose to not, you know? and just 
make music, you know what I'm saying? I think punk is an attitude, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a sound or a style. It's a, it's a do-it-yourself approach and it's a fuck whoever wants to be in my way, you know? Um, I was out with the kid jumping fences, breaking windows, skateboarding, you know, on fire escapes. Um, but I, and then I was also at the motherfucking protests, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think, yeah, like I said, punk is more of an attitude. Like I never, I never got along with authority and agreed with the idea of you deserve my respect just because you exist. Um, you know, I'm like, you gotta earn my respect. You know, you don't respect me, I don't respect you. Um, so I, th I feel like that's punk, you know what I'm saying? Some of the, the, the most punk motherfuckers is not even like making any hard rock music, you know what I'm saying? It's like Daniel Johnston and like m making four track recorder music on a detuned piano. You know, I, I've been politi politically minded until, uh, I've been politically minded since I was about 16 when I read uh, Malcolm X's autobiography. Now my first tattoo is um, a Green Fuey Black Panther on my shoulder. Um, you know, that's when I was 16 years old. Um, and I think that like all of that really resurfaced through my music. Like I, I've always kind of talked about these things and and slipped them in, but I think it really like came to life in a big way in my music as a response to how graphic, um, you know the oppression has become in the social media age just because everything is you know you're forced to watch it you know what i'm saying it's like i've been mistreated by police you know my whole life um and so that's always it's always been on my mind you know and i've seen the way that they dehumanize us firsthand but being forced to every week watch, you know, a black guy bleeding out um, at the hands of a police officer, and, you know, just watching racists march through Charlottesville and, uh, you know, seeing Flint's water supply contaminated with lead. It's just like, come on, you know what I'm saying? Like that, if that shit doesn't push you to, to be a little bit more adamant uh, with your support for the community or just, you know, just speaking out, then I don't really know what will, you know? Just inspired by Eminem's songwriting in general and his storytelling, you know what I'm saying? Eminem, I feel, he just, like, always painted these demented, detailed narratives. And um, as a storyteller, to, to have that attention to detail and that continuity and flow in the, the picture that I'm painting is important to me. I really like the storytelling shit. That's my favorite stuff to do. That's, that's the most fun for me. Um, it kind of writes itself once you get into it, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, this is what happens, you know? It's like, a leads to B, leads to C, leads to D. I did make it seem like I write things down. I don't, though. Um, but I mean, I pretty much, it's, it's just my own process, you know what I mean? I just pace around and just like kind of repeat it to myself until, yeah, until it's fully formed. Um, a lot of the, like, the storytelling records, um, like they, they come to me quick and then they're done, you know, and I don't. I don't change it much, you know what I mean? So, like other records and are, honestly, like the more simple records, 
is what I take more time like changing around. But like a song like Heaven on Earth, I mean, I wrote the first two verses um, one night, you know, it was probably like two hours, two and a half hours or something. And I came in the next day and did the third verse. That was about an hour. And that's pretty much all. So all in all, you know, maybe three, four hours. And I never really, never really touched it again as far as writing it. The Fire Next Time, well, I put it where I did because I wanted to, I wanted to depict having experienced all these different situations and these ups and these downs and peaks and valleys and, you know, um, loss and, you know, rage and, you know, so many different emotions. I wanted to show taking all of those and, and uh, what could seem so chaotic, what was so chaotic, like really emerging from that fire like a phoenix, you know, I kind of, like it was kind of like the end of um, the end of the song before the fire next time, which is wings. I think um, it was like I said, climb to the top of the tallest building and spread your wings. And I said, jumping, 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 falling, falling, falling to the sky. So it's kind of like I was talking about like the death of ego, and uh, or just like the death of like negativity and and all of that unnecessary energy and and like rising anew, kind of like like a phoenix, you know? Oh, yeah. That's actually going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real thing. You guys are like working on it? Yeah. Or? Okay. Um, any like title or information about like timeline? Um, I won't say the title yet, but we got a title, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to do it like at the top of 2018. I've been recording for it every day. I got a studio on the bus. The bus was out for a couple of days because, I don't know, some things was broken with it, but I'll get the bus back tonight, so please believe I'm going to be recording a new joint tonight. Like a remix. remix, yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm put that out this week. I, I, uh, I, rec I perform part of it, actually, in the show. So, yeah, if you guys come to the show, you'll hear it. Um, yeah, I'll put that out this week.